Hey guys, I'm back with an update on this Better Way gadget. I uh, did a part one probably about a month or so ago. I'll link to that if you missed it. Anyway, uh, in that video we did the setup and we went through and checked the tongue weight, payload, pin weight, that sort of thing. But I, I didn't at that point in time actually take it out and uh, use, a, use a trailer. I indicated I was going to take Ann's boat out and maybe the RV. Unfortunately, I haven't got the RV out yet. Uh, but I was able to take her boat and I was able to get some accurate uh, readings on the weight. I went to the dump to drop some stuff off and, and they had a scale there. So they were nice enough to, to give me the weights using their scale. It's not a certified scale, of course, but they do charge based on weight. So I imagine it's pretty accurate. And the truck came in right around 8,752 pounds. Now, in the better way, you remember I was getting readings around 9,000. So it's within their 95% accuracy that they, they come up with at, on the website. You'll see they boast a 95% accuracy. And then we took uh, loaded up her, uh, her trailer, and I went out this morning on Sunday. They let you uh, go weigh things. Uh, it's not as busy. So went out there, and they weighed the, I weighed the truck first, and then the, then the trailer axle. So I was able to get a combined weight of 11,881 pounds. So then we went to an area where we could do some testing with the better way. And all I could get on multiple tests was right around 11,000 pounds. But you remember this thing has an analog gauge. So it's kind of hard to know exactly what it was doing. But a little bit lower than their 5% their range, I think. Overall, in my opinion, um, this thing is basically a gadget. Uh, I, you can't really trust it. Uh, it can't be used as something that you're going to count on to to uh, come up with a with an accurate weight, it just doesn't have the accuracy, and there's too many variables when you're setting it up. Um, you know, you really you'd have to go to certified scales to know for sure. Uh, this thing, I played around with the truck, and a lot of it varies with uh, with how much uh, I hit the fuel pedal. Like it says, you know, when you're when you're weighing something, it says to to press halfway down on the throttle. Well, how do you know exactly what halfway is? And, and halfway on on my vehicle actually, you know, is pretty torquey, so it's it's pretty easy to break through, break the the rear tires open. And I guess it's it's going by the accelerometer, and maybe it's picking up on the transmission torque converter or something like that. But anyway, sometimes if I'm in the truck, I can I can say it's coming in a reading of nine thousand pounds. Sometimes I've had it as low as eight thousand and as high as ten thousand. It's just like you can't be sure. I'll do multiple tests and, and kind of get the average of it, which is around 9,000, which is pretty close to what my the scale weighed me at. But uh, it's, it's not going to be super accurate. And a lot of times I'd want something like this to see if I'm getting close to my max weight, but you just can't count on it. Um, the other thing is I've tried both the VIN setup. Uh, this thing has a bunch of uh, a VIN database, so when you set it up, you can just... Uh, plug it into the, the onboard diagnostics port and it picks up the VIN and then it can calculate by all the features your truck was built at, at the factory um, and it goes from there or you can manually calibrate it by by entering the, the gross vehicle weight rating and, and things like that payload rating. I did both and they kind of come out about equal. <clears throat> kind of a pain to set up because you have to go and and do a bunch of tests in a, you've got to at least find a parking lot because you look kind of crazy coming to a stop and and then hitting the throttle and then coming to a stop and hitting the throttle which you wouldn't think there's a hard place to to do that but <clears throat> a lot of towns you can't there's not a lot of empty s streets unless you get up really early or you find a, a large parking lot so like I say overall it's kind of a fun gadget and interesting to play with that's about all I can say say for it at that um, if I do get the, the Cougar out on the road, we're looking maybe this summer um, heading away from our campground here and going camping somewhere more in the, in, in the back country. And if I do that, I'll, I'll, I'll do this and come back with another report. So there you go. Like I say, I'll leave a link to the, the part one and you can go from there and, and have a look at uh, how I set this thing up and more information about it. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.